Friends, today we are going to talk about verse number one of the Dhamma Pada. Now the verse goes as follows in Pali. This was uttered by the Buddha when he was giving a discourse to around thirty thousand monks at Jetvana Monastery, and it it was with regard to a thera called Chakupal, who was blind thera, who was also an arhat. Mano Pugamma Dhamma, Mano Setha Mano Maya. which means all mental phenomena has mind as their chief manasa che padottena bhasati va karoti va tato nam dukham manvayati chakkam va vahato padam now this means if one speaks or acts with an evil mind dukha follows him just as a wheel follows the hoof print of the ox that draws the cart it so happened that chakupala thera who was a blind thera had come to visit the buddha and when he was meditating and he was walking some insects under his legs died so there were many followers who went and complained to the buddha some monks and they said that the thera has uh, killed uh, all those insects deliberately so the buddha asked them whether they had seen that the thera had killed these insects deliberately it so happened that it was absolutely out of no sight that chakupala had uh, killed those insects so then the monks asked a buddha about the previous lives of chakupala thera as to why he was blind though he was an arhat so the buddha said not only in his last existences but in many of his earlier existences he has uh, did not have eyesight then uh, the buddha explained how in one of his earlier births chakupala thera was a physician and he wanted to make one of the lady patients blind so that she would become along with her entire family the slaves of his he he uh, tried to cure her and the lady by uh, uh, too much of terror she said i have not been cured i am still blind so then uh, Ch- uh, chakupala in his uh, went to check whether she has really been cured and she had been cured with his medicine but she did not want to become his slave deliberately chakupala gave gave her some more ointment due to which she lost her eyesight because of his bad karma dukha followed him everywhere in all his future existences it was only in this existence when he was with the buddha that he became an arhat Be- because of this discourse the buddha gave this discourse and told uh, entire 30000 monks in the assembly attain arhatship when we when i look at this verse i i'm really motivated or to think that each and every action of ours should be such that we should think what karma would lead us to dukha we should take uh, a hindsight of all whatever actions that we do and think about what it will cause us dukha so one has to be very careful and mindful of one's own actions may all beings be happy